How do these attacks? Gain one attack and attack a random enemy minion. That seems pretty, uh, pretty good. Okay. You know what? <laughs> I think that's pretty good. Deado, biado. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna overperform. Uh, wow. Resurrect two friendly mechs that cost five or more. They immediately attack random enemies. Uh, how good is the colossal? The colossal. I mean, I I wonder what all the stats are on these cards. I assume the colossal is just like the best, but. Maybe um, boom is good. There's that that six mana four eight taunt, which is kind of insane. That's pretty common. Uh, Nelly has a sixty six point seven percent played win rate in a class that has a forty two percent win rate. That's crazy. Uh, Inventor boom has not been played enough. Stack win rate is is forty seven percent, which is actually Kind of decent for Warrior. Its played win rate is 60%. I think Inventor Boom is very good. And I assume Fire Plume's Heart is awful. Uh, it has a 39% deck win rate. And a 39% played win rate. You'll actually lose more games than you win on average by drafting and playing Fire Plume Heart. Than an already abysmally performing class. It takes a bad class and makes it perform even worse. Alright, let's take the Thresher. I want to draft this once. I'm sure it's awful, but it will be fun. But maybe not this time. Okay, first pick Excavate. I like that. I like that. I think I know a guy. Not a big fan of Sanguine Depths. The pool is super broad. Um, so you're not really likely to get the most powerful taunts of all time. But still one mana for draw a card and give it plus one, plus two. Uh, athletic Studies, same deal. All the Discover is a little less valuable than it might otherwise be. Doesn't mean you can't hit. Just means you're going to miss a little more than you might otherwise. Two mana Fiery War Axe. That's pretty cool, though. Two mana Fiery War Axe. Uh, Flunky. This could have been the uh, the Sulfurous deck. Don't have any bad cards yet. Love a Plating. I'm a huge fan of Plating. Not a huge fan of Footman. I haven't been super impressed by it. That being said, taunts in general just hold a little bit of a premium for Warrior because of the 4 mana 3, 4 that buffs them, and it's fairly common. I think it's okay, too. With what we're starting with, it seems alright. A couple of cheap cards, some rush minions. I think it's okay. All of these are okay. Maybe I should just take Gangplank, just because I don't want a second 7 drop in my first 8 cards. I do think Containment Unit is a better card. Would have been pretty sick with the Dr. Boom as a card to resummon. There is some mech synergies. You know what? I'm going to take this. Are you a breast man or a butt man? Neither. I'm a foot man. <laughs> I'm a... I hope that women will let me see them naked sometimes, man. If I'm on my best behavior. <laughs> Would love another title revenant. I am just a title revenant stan. But that's our third excavate. Okay, rewarded. I actually have been pretty unimpressed by Snow Flurry. You look like a foot guy. I I am not much of a foot man. Uh, I have I have been told what to do to some feet sometime, but uh, I never seek out the foot. And if I'm told like the foot's off limit, it doesn't bother me. If I'm told the feet are like a no go, it doesn't. It's not a thing. Uh, I don't want that taunt. Mess maker. Um, that card seems bad. I guess Necrolite's just two that summons a thing. These are both good. Scorpid might be better, but I'm going to take Ghost Rider. I want two spells. Draw two taunt minions. Very, I, I very much like this card. I'm going to take that. Darn, I kind of wish I'd taken the poison. What if they smell slightly of delicious cheese? That's probably not good. It's probably not good on a foot. Um, I don't have Bridge Rift. That's the one you need. So let's take a Bash. Slam or Dredge? I like Dredge, man. I like Dredging. Amalgam's nice. I love Quartermaster, too. Amalgam. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to take the Quartermaster. Trigger the death rattle of a random friendly of a random friendly mech. 
Random friendly mech. Uh, oh, and I get a miniaturize. I get another weapon. Stick on containment unit. I have nothing else. I'm sure I'll get another thing or two. Like maybe a uh, testing dummy. Pretty sick. I would love that brawler as well. Man, that's tough. How many do I have? I have one, two, three. It's a little awkward. All right, I'm just going to take the dummy. This is good. Another quartermaster is kind of nice. You'll get another dummy. Yeah, I think it's you're much more likely to get offered another dummy than another one of those brawlers. The thing is, I'd rather have... I'd be okay getting two dummies, but I don't want two brawlers, if that makes sense. This is a good card too, but I don't have enough early game, I don't think. Okay, sort of rewarded again. I'll grab it, and I think I'm just going to take the party animal. Uh, I am worried about our curve. I need one more excavate. Not the bridge riff. Summon two boom bots. Man, I could have had the dream... Uh, um, Dr. Boom deck. There's a mech that's cool. There's a card that's good for a deck that needs things to do on those turns. Alright, I'm gonna take it. Just give me, I was gonna say, just give me one more excavate. I have to pass the Anima, which is probably better, but I mean, it's our fourth excavate. So I'm not gonna pass the fourth excavate or the fifth excavate. At the end of your turn, gain three armor. This card should really be like a 2-5 or something. Take another Drake though. A two mana win X. I'm down for that. And finally, got the Juggernaut, which is a mech, and we do have some taunt, so let's grab it. Yeah, I don't think it's a bad warrior deck. I think to um to really have consistent success with a deck like this, you need a trial or a bellowing flames, I think. Doesn't mean we won't win games, but those games where you go second and you have to kill a 4-4 and a 4-5, and you just can't. And you just play a 5 mana 4-4 four, four, or a 4 mana 2-5 or whatever. Just feel kind of insurmountable without a Bellowing Flames. Retire? I like this deck. I think it looks cool. Lots of armor. Lots of Excavate. No Blast Charges, though, either. This place is scary. And we got a, a Nelly. These are dog water, man. Um, for each enemy. Oh my god. We said the range was... Pretty dookie. I would take a bad 3 drop taunt here. That would be fine. 3 mana, 3, 3 taunt or something would be alright. Collateral damage needs to be removed. It's too good in arena. Thoughts? Uh, I think collateral damage is probably like the 8th or ninth best hunter card probably. And probably shouldn't be removed. I think collateral should deal 5 to each minion and probably cost 9. But if, you know... As we know, that's not going to happen. I'd be happier having it removed. But I think Buzzard's better. I think all the Wild Seed cards are better. Honestly, the two mana card that summons, that adds the, uh, the, the Animal Companions to your hand is probably better. Um, What else feels fair? Uh, the two mana 5-4 Demon with Dormant feels just like absurd. Uh, yeah, that's like a lot of things. I think, oh, the four mana, summon a bunch of little dogs, I think should probably uh, not exist in its current iteration. This may just be my best song yet. Choose a friendly mech, summon a copy of it that attacks a random enemy and then dies. Shield slam's kind of nice too. Bulk up's kind of nice too, but I have no time to cast that. Will I ever get to do that? Probably not. Let's just take a shield slam. It's cheap, and I'm falling behind. Um, here. Just not die. Quests in arena? Quests are in arena. Quests, hero cards, colossals. Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? They said, fuck it. I mean, they said, we're going to try something different. And I don't think the quests being in arenas bad. They're awful. And I think that there have been awful arenas in, uh, sorry, awful legendaries in arena all the time. I'd rather have an awful quest that's fun to play. We had a fun quest priest deck. I like stuff like that more than like drafting a Cairn or a Blood Mage Thalnos or some 
giga shitter like that, personally. Play this. I guess I'll just do this. Uh, Pigman, thank you for your follow, Pigman. Up to nine, I can actually spend my mana. Uh, let's take, I guess, this one. It's pretty cheap still. We don't have to forge it. Uh, where's the music? But yeah, I think, um, I'm not sure. I, I haven't really heard much feedback in terms of what their exact intention was. But I think if their, if their end goal is to have a curated pool, like, kind of in general going forward, and this was just the first iteration of, like, let's just say fuck it and throw in, like, a bunch of crazy stuff, and then prune it from there, like, actively and consistently, and refine it and swap things out fairly consistently, I think it's actually way better, honestly. I think that's way better than bringing back Ungoro and having 85% of the cards be undraftable and unplayable just because you wanted to get Tareem back in at the same time as the new Tareem. Like, okay, don't bring in any of the Ungoro cards, just bring that one Tareem. Oh, he's crazy? Okay, take him out. Which I'm under the impression that they can um, be pretty um, flexible with kind of like how they move individual cards in and out, so. Well, it, it feels like it might be too slow because we're just getting dumpstered by hunters for a week or two. If they're adjusting it every couple weeks and getting the big outliers and then keeping things fresh by just rotating in individual cards, you know, three or four cards, five cards for each class every, every three or four weeks, like that would be really cool. Uh, and I'm optimistic that that's possible. Dude, this is sick. This card's so cool. Is this a 1-1? One, one? I can break it right away. I think he might be doing the math like, oh fuck, I lose if the containment's up. If you forge it, does it keep the discount? Yeah, it does. I think that's probably right. And it might be correct for us to just use this to gain the 8 armor. But I get a 1 mana 8 drop. Um, okay, I'll play this one, and I'll hit there, and I'll play this one to... It would have killed you on turn four, so it's a moot point. Yeah, yeah. Pirate, that's a nothing. Yeah, I appreciate everybody watching that trailer with us. They paid us some money for that, so that's good. And what I really wanted was to lock in the Genshin bounty before it disappeared. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's worth a coin. What we'll probably do is go to coin fours. No, that probably won't happen. I need armor. Sometimes if you don't take them fast enough, then someone else takes them or... I, don't, I doubt it. Sometimes I feel like they just disappear. The Twitch bounty board sometimes is a little little funky. Sometimes that will disappear and then, like, show back up. I think I will be missing the pack opening tonight. How much longer are we going to, if you were to guess? You know, I think today might be a shorter day. Um, we'll have to see how, you know, the runs go and how the night feels. But it's a little bit lower viewership. There's a little, or there's quite a few extra Hearthstone streamers on. Kind of what we were talking about yesterday and, uh, days leading up. When, when, the expansion is is just around the corner. Arenas had had stuff for a week early, so I think it it generates interest. People like to see the new cards played where in the only format they can. And then the constructed streamers are less inclined to be on because they're they're waiting for the new content. So it's usually a day for us to kind of feast a little. But we'll kind of see. I, um, I'm going to get in a little bit of trouble, but hopefully not. I, I started watching Interstellar. I've never seen Interstellar, but Jay Master was in here hyping up um, Christopher Nolan and the like. And I, I started watching it, 
and I thought it was real. I thought it was really good, and I kind of want to finish it. Well, 800 viewers low now. He really made it. Well, low relative to the last two weeks. Yeah, 800. Yeah, 800 is okay. Hate to do your daily sounds amazing for Genshin. Yeah, no, I don't think we'll play Genshin today. It's again, I, I think today will probably be a dip in viewership, probably for the next few days, but maybe another day can can be a little better. We'll see. You would think Interstellar is incredible. Did you not like it? You don't like Interstellar? Oh man, I thought it was so good. I haven't finished it yet, so no spoilers, but. Really, I was really enjoying it. We're gonna do it in this order to, to maintain the armor in case we uh, want to just play this. The movie is amazing. I saw it in the IMAX. Never seen it, but I heard it was good. Interstellar's was top five movie for you. Okay, I'm not done yet, but okay. So minor spoilers. I just got to the point where. Just after they land on like this big water wave planet. I enjoyed it as an experience in IMAX, but it's not my Nolan top tier. Yeah, so J Master was here and he's a big Nolan fan. He was talking about Nolan a lot. And um then I just typed Nolan into whatever. I I, I think I opened Prime and a lot of the movies were on there. Some for rent, some for I'm just a stream. I was like, okay, let, let me let me try because it, it was on my mind. It was on the brain, you know. And uh, but I realized I'd only seen like half, maybe of his, maybe even like what thirty percent, forty percent of his filmography. So I figured I'd throw it on and try. I was I was really like it, yeah, pretty good. I love the ending. I've got theories, but no spoilers. I, I've got a, I've got kind of like I think I've got it figured out, but we'll see. Because I was really confused, and, I, and then I was like, I'm, I'm probably intentionally supposed to be confused by stuff. Some of the stuff at the beginning. But I think I got it. How long is the movie? It's really long. It was like two, two, two hours and 40 minutes or something. I think I made it like an hour and 40. And it wasn't because I was bored, it was just like, I was like, oh, I should probably start to stream. That one on there. Is that big enough? One, two, three, four, five. Guys, have you watched Dune 2 already? I haven't seen either Dune. And I liked it. And then I rewatched it the next day back then. And I I didn't like it as much, clearly, you know. And then I, I didn't watch it for like 20 years. And I watched it fairly recently. I don't know, the end of last year, beginning of this year. I thought it was still pretty good. I, I I thought Memento was pretty good. I thought it held up pretty well. Even knowing kind of the kind of twistier aspects of it, I still thought it was pretty good. Kind of weird. Um, the guy I don't know the guy what the guy's name is. The main actor. I don't really recall him being in much else. I'm sure he was in other things, but he's very handsome and he was pretty good. You think he you know might have filled a Brad Pitt kind of role uh, in some in some universe. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen Insomnia. I don't know anything about Insomnia. I saw all the Batman movies. I thought those were cool. I mean, the third one, I can barely remember. I probably only saw it once. Then I, I like the Prestige. The Prestige was in there. I like the Prestige a lot. Probably like the Prestige quite a bit more than Memento. Personally. Let's, um, let's shoot it before we lose all of our armor. Then now I'm watching... Interstellar. I haven't seen Dunkirk or Tenet or Oppenheimer, so I'll probably try to do one of those at some point in the near future, too. Wait, where was Inception? I missed that. I saw Inception. I thought Inception was pretty good, too, but I think I like... Uh... Oh, that was In Between the Dark Knight and the Dark Knight Rises. That movie was 2010? I probably saw Inception probably three or four or five years ago. A couple of years, at least several years after its hype. And I think that might have affected it a little bit. Everybody like speaks so highly of it. And also, um I think that movie got parodied a lot, so it's kinda hard sometimes with that stuff. 
Tenant is incoherent slop and a fun movie. That's what people say. That it was like really confusing and he does that sort of like confusing for the sake of confusing at, at times. Guy Pierce. Yeah, I thought his name was Guy. I was gonna say I was like, who's that guy? I think his name is Guy. What else did Guy Pierce do? I'll take Memento, Insomnia, Dunkirk, Oppenheimer, Prestige, and probably the Pursuit Batmans or Interstellar. Really? Honestly, it's been so long since I've seen the first Batman that I don't really know where how how I would perceive that one. Um play this. But oh man, the Dark Knight, I don't know. I like the Dark Knight still. I haven't seen it in a while again, but the last time I watched it, I was kind of like, yeah, maybe it wasn't that good. And I remember being like, oh yeah, this is really good. Is Nelly the most fun Colossal? It probably is, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. It's the most fun Colossal when you get it in Rogue. We watched Tenet on our first date with my now wife. Cool. Yeah. Too many of his movies have an iconic, unforgettable twist that ruins my ability to rewatch it. Yeah, that's okay. As long as it's good on the first viewing. I don't. I, I'd rather a movie be good on the first viewing and not rewatchable than a movie just be shit <laughs> and rewatchable because of how shit it is. Some movies are like that, right? Like I'm not like a. Not really much of an M. Night Shyamalan guy, but, um. A lot of his movies are poo and have a twist, right? Tenet is incoherent in the dialogue. You can't even hear. You need subtitles. I was miserable in theater seeing it. Oh, that's funny. I, I watch everything with subtitles. I just can't hear anything anymore. There's actually a YouTube video that I've never watched, but it showed up in my suggested feeds once. It was like why we can't hear anything on TV or like at home anymore. I was assuming they were going to talk about some of the technological aspects of it, but I don't actually know. But I was like, I gotta watch that, because I can't hear shit. 479, not quite enough. Let's just yak that into his face. Village is the best movie ever made. I've never seen The Village. I rewatched Inception 20 times, probably. Started subtitles because of animes, and now I can't watch anything without subtitles either. I don't watch a ton of anime, but maybe that was part of it. Maybe it's maybe that's part of it. Is there. I can get the Well, our deck feels pretty cool. Huh? More mastering or mastering for IMAX speakers, but not for TV. Village, an old Russian movie? Village is an M, M. Night Shyamalan movie where something happens and some other crap happens too. I don't really, I never saw it. The spoilers are like, they live like right next door or something. I don't, know. I don't care. I don't care about the goddamn village. I'd watch it though. The village is a fucking mess. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know if I've ever seen any M. Night Shyamalan movie except maybe... What's the one? Um, Unbreakable? Was that him? I think I saw Unbreak... I saw Unbreakable in the theaters. But I've never even seen The Sixth Sense. Lady in the Water was also a mess. Didn't it win Best Picture or it was nominated or something? Oh, Signs. I think I've seen... I don't know. I think I've seen most of Signs, but I've never really sought it out. That was The Shape of Water. Oh, Lady in the Water. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. That was um, Guillermo del Toro, del Toro, right, or something? Is that his name? Uh, should I rewatch Pan's Labyrinth ever, you think? I barely remember it, but I remember enjoying Ready it. To fight for a better future? Unbreakable is your wife's favorite movie? I don't think I liked it very much. But I don't really remember it either. You get to be my age, you just don't remember shit, you know? <laughs> Can't remember shit. i tempo this out so I have the option to coin out the dummy if we want. 
Um, dream summary. Uh, Twitchert. Bruce Willis was great. Yeah, it was Bruce Willis and Samuel Jackson, right? Mr. Glass. I remember some scene where he like fell down the stairs and all of his bones broke and being like, I'm out of here. Isn't there like a like a greater universe or something with uh with him that he tried to purvey? Some sort of superhero-y kinda. It's some of the characters in that movie or some of the characters in the other movie. There's a universe, yeah. Is it for all of his films or just like a couple of them? Wasn't there another one with that one guy and he's like Inside somebody's closet or something. The bald guy. That's bad. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember. I only saw that movie once in the theater, but I, and I was probably like twelve. But I remember being like, "Oh, that's gnarly! I don't want to hear this." This might be better. I'm coining this out. Darn it! Ah, oh, that's so good if it hits here. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so much better. A couple of the movies are a totally good. Last one is not good. Of what movies? M. Night Shyamalan? Or within that universe? I don't know what, what, what movies fall into that category. Oh my god, I'm so disappointed that that did not hit where we wanted it to. We'd hit here, we'd hit here. <laughs> we'd be at 30. Unbreakable universe movies. Oh, okay. It's all like the unbreakable universe. No love for Vias for Vendetta? Uh, I like that movie. I saw it once on TV or something. I, I only saw it once. I can barely remember it, but... Um... Okay, before I go on, how old was Natalie Portman? Came out in 2005. Natalie Portman was born in 81. Okay, yeah, man. Natalie Portman in Beaver Vendetta? Like a, a, a lady with a buzz cut. Like a lady with a shaved head. Lit is solid. Glass, not so solid. Splits the one, right? With the... And I'm so behind on like 8,000 movies I need to watch. I probably shouldn't watch Fever Vendetta the second time. But it, it would be like the first time for me. It's been so long since I've seen it. I need one more damage. Oh, that could be good. Costs five. This could get poison or life steal. Poisonous. Armor up, so this one's already attacked. So now this one can attack. James McAvoy or something? What else has James McAvoy been in? James McAvoy. You call that a blade? I've got three. Narnia X-Men Wanted Atonement Glass Split. It Chapter 2, My Son Filth. Nomeo and Juliet. <laughs> we all gotta make money, right? Nomeo. Juliet. Fine. It's one of those that has some sort of thumb down in hype a bit throughout the years. Deeper Vendetta is not worth the rewatch. Doesn't hold up as well these days. I'm at five. How do I, uh. How do I, uh. Survive? I get the deal three to all.
I'm at 17. Can't push anything. Got a Drake to kill that. Card for zero is probably pretty spicy. Baby, baby, baby. Got a taunt and then a couple of recently drawn cards. This deck seems pretty anti hunter, let's hope. Let's hope it stays that way. But even if he gets plus three, plus three, it's okay. And, um, I don't know, I was in, I go up every aisle. One of them was like a, you know, supplements and protein aisle or whatever. Oof. Maybe I should have kept the armor card. And there was like protein chips, like corn chips. I don't know. It had like a ton of protein. And the bag was like, it was tiny. It was a tiny bag. And I was like, I was like, let me look at it. I wasn't actually thinking about buying them. I just don't have a lot to do in my days or with my life. So I read the back of chip bags and stuff. I was feeling around the bag. I swear, there was like three and a half chips in there. I wasn't sure what was going on, but it was $4 for one bag. The bag was, you know, tiny. And within that bag, I, I, I'm i fairly certain there were four chips. Max. Chipflation. Yeah, now this wasn't like a regular Doritos bag or whatever. Which those are 50% air and probably, you know, a dollar or two more than we remember when we were kids or whatever, too. But... This is, like, obscene. Now that, now I don't... I don't. What does that do? I have no idea. Just, oh, God. Five mana, six, five. Because he just played for three mana. Discover a demon and set its stats and costs to this minions. Oh, my God. That's so good. Drafted a couple demon hunters. We haven't seen that card yet. So if, he, if he gets the um the the eight mana twelve twelve or something, it just starts casting AOEs for zero mana. Sorry, could you stop fondling the merchandise? Yeah, I don't think they like me there. Probably. That's how it goes with protein stuff. It's mostly for the rich. We think they need to eat a ton of protein and nothing else for their gains. Plus, getting a corn to be mostly protein, the refining process must be miles long. Yeah, yeah, I don't doubt. There's you know some some tomfoolery afoot. I don't doubt that. Can we play this? Let's play this. Maybe we get a like a like a room broom. A rush brush. What do these do? Can I take that? I get to kill this guy, I get a buff, although I am gonna lose my armor. This is gonna be a bit harder. What's up, Red? Hey Kripali, how are you, man? They were probably quest chips? I think that might have been the brand. Quest? Why does everything- why does this one cost three as well? What does this card do? Is that it's stats and cost to that? Dude, that's crazy. I thought it was just stats. How many three mana six fives with upside is he going to cast? <laughs> I wonder. More than one, it seems. And looking at what he did and we just played this card, it seems almost kind of fair. Yeah, he's got a couple three mana six fives. Who needs to get their protein from chips? It's like a vegan targeted product. Yeah, so when I was when I was looking at it, I was like, I was thinking, who's this like muscle bound gym bro? But then he's like, well, let me buy a four dollar bag of three chips to get my. I feel like who would buy these? <laughs> like somebody that's really dedicated to training probably isn't gonna waste four dollars on three chips. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they are though. Maybe they are. Play the five and the two. I really want to play a four and a three. I guess if I'm playing a four and a three, it's probably these two. 
I get a large minion. I get a small minion off the board. And, you know, if we can wait long enough, we can probably do stuff with this. Eating four chips in one sitting is probably healthier than eating 400 chips, generally speaking. Yeah, they, they, they were, I mean, they were very low in fat, but I guess there was only three of them. I'm telling you, there was like three chips in that bag. Things considered, outside of the 3 mana 6-5 that discovered another 3 mana 6-5, he hasn't really been doing too much lately. Could be Ambush. Ambush would be a bit of a disaster. Hey Target Dummy, I don't want to play Target Dummy. Maybe I should have taken another one. I can get this one back with Cheat Death, but honestly I'd rather get that one back than this one. Okay, so what is this? <laughs> Darn it. Perjury. Oh, that's pretty cool. Just to discover one. Sometimes you need a snack, went on a cut, and the quest chaps hit. Yeah, I'm not talking too much smack about them. It might be really tasty, and they may be, I don't know, good for you. I don't really know. But $4, I want more than three small corn chips. But again, I'm poor, so <laughs> you gotta factor that in to my decision-making process. Were these chips being sold at Walmart? It was at a Safeway. See the kind of stuff you only see in a vegan, gluten-free, organic, cage-free, and no antibiotics, grass-fed, asbestos-free, no fat, no salt, no added sugar kind of store. Uh, is Walmart that? I wouldn't describe Walmart as most of those words you said. The Safeway is like a regular, uh, grocer, grocery. Uh, yeah, let's trade there. We don't draw, but he doesn't heal. Gluten-free snacks are ballin'. I'm implying that they seem like the kind of stuff you'd only find at a Whole Foods or a Trader Joe's or a Natural Grocer's. Yeah, they do kind of sound like that. I'm glad we got so much um, material out of these quest chips. I should read more. Um, I should read more packaging. I sense your strength. I think that'd be. Uh, I think that'd be good. Good content. People like packages. Not mine, but you know, in general. I've got the five, but I just hate these fucking holes. I'm hoping you wouldn't do that. Definitely hoping you wouldn't do that. Um, I guess I'm. Oh my god, I guess I'm fucked. Um, I guess I'm uh, glad I didn't go face. I guess that buys me the time to maybe... I mean, I can't even really play that. Play this, this, and that to get two. This may just be my best not bad. Service. No, not bad. These don't really help. Shuffle a copy of your hand into your deck. I mean, Whirlwind, maybe. Oh my god, I want fires. You know what? I'm taking fires. My deck's pretty good, but I guess what's remaining in my deck isn't that good. Like if I'm hitting Bash or I know a guy. I've only excavated once. We can draw right away, too, maybe. not 
good. Good dredge, but mech destroy all damaged enemy minions. Eh, yeah, that could clear the whole board. Coerce is nice. Card draw plus armor is nice, but let's take a coerce too. Maybe. Omega Assembly. <laughs> yeah, I would rather have a Whirlwind now. I like this guy's deck. I mean, I hate it because it has two wolves and Magtheridon and stuff, but... I like the power level. The potency. Steam is so good. Yeah, this card's really great. I wonder what its stats are. Let's see. Demon Hunter is at 55%. Mag Theradon is at 58 and 64% basically played win rate. So it is close to an auto win. I wonder um, where that ranks relative to everything else. It is the fourth highest played win rate card in Demon Hunter. It is the... its deck win rate is quite a bit lower. Probably because it's an 8 mana 12 12 dormant, but quite a bit lower. I need this to wake up. I really need it to wake up and kill that. I could shoot something. I could like shoot his face. It's 11 cards. I'm going to kill everything next turn. I miss a hero power if I do this. Um, That's fine. I'll kill everything next turn. Um, what was I looking up? Uh, played win rate. The only cards with the higher played win rate are Z Zlag, the Colossal, Illidari, Inquisitor. Which I don't... Eh, that's probably comparable. And then Umpire's Grasp, which I'm sure pulls it or Zlag or Illidari uh, a large percentage of the time. That's probably a little misleading, but... Umpire's Grasp, the 3 mana 3, 2, Death Rattle Draw, Demon, and reduce its cost by 2 is pretty, uh, pretty stupid. Okay, you know, my cards, 5 mana, 4, 8, doesn't seem as good as a uh, 8 mana, 12, 12 that casts Consecration plus every turn, huh? I mean, we might still win, but, you know, it doesn't seem as good. If we're hitting five mana colossals and stuff, that could be a little more potent. How do they all die? I cast a card that uh, destroys all damaged minions. My side of the board too. I just had. I just had um. Five one four, but I want Tyrion on the board. There are no mechs that are better than a five mana Tyrion, right? I hope this fits on the ship. Taunt, life steal, reborn, death rattle. Deal damage. It's an undead, but not a mech. Tarantula? Can I ever kill? I can kill my own tarantula. Play the tarantula, kill it, and then kill two things. After this takes damage, get two minis. Wow, that's pretty sick. Alright, I guess I'll take this. I don't know if I have, like, the time or whatever. How do you get a second one? You discovered a second one. Doesn't outright kill it. Loses two himself, breaks my weapon, and gets a bunch of taunts. Leave. That's not a mech, that's a beast. Only deals 
four. Uh, uh, I want to play this. I can shoot that. What if I just play a five and a one? What if I play a five and a one? What if I play a five and a one? Did I trade with this guy? Give the cleave rush. Play another taunt. Can't attack unless his hero attacks. Bring him down to seven. Uh, why does the deck tracker keep taking a dump today? New expansion days maybe are hard for it. Okay. That is not a card that I want to see or play. I guess I could play these two and get a mini. Is that better than the cleave? I just have to hit here, but I mean, who cares, right? Set a minion's attack and health to this minion's. That's probably the best mini. This mini's okay. Bot face time? Bot face seems pretty good. These ones are not good. Draw a spell. <laughs> I don't even have a spell in my deck. That kind of blows. I feel pretty comfortable saying this is the best deck we face this meta. That includes all the Hunter decks. Unfortunately for us. I don't have anything to really do here. Well, it could be a good card. I'm undead, not so, dead. Up there. I guess I could actually draw. Not a great card, but the good news is I can I don't have, I don't have any good news. We're kind of boned. I have no spells in my deck, right? So oh, this is a dud, this is a dud, this is a dud. This isn't good enough. He has three cards though. That's just crazy. Reinforced plating, all of our cards have been converted to uh, stuff. To minions. I can kill that, that'd be a swell. It's not good. Dragon. I am holding a dragon. The smell of it should delete a card from his deck, too. At the end of your turn, your opponent discards a spell and destroy one card from their deck. How are you feeling about the expansion so far? Any impact on the meta? Well, we've had the expansion in Arena for a, a, a week already. I like so he has minions you. left. He's going to lose some of his board. I need to find just one way to kill this. That's it, right? And then we're good? Taunt. If your deck has no neutral cards, draw a minion of each type. Taunt. What if I play this taunt first? It's bigger. Not many cards left. Um, I think it's I think it's been okay. Today the core set came in and the 
you can discover the the new set stuff. I think it's all, you know it's all right. Okay, so what's that going up to? Six health, thirteen attack, two coins. The coins aren't really. I mean, they might be relevant. Restore eight health to my hero. Fourteen. Yeah, sure. Uh, Alright, we gotta beat two coins and three cards. Possible. We have what on the bottom? Servant and a Tarantula. So those cards don't really do anything. Uh, ZS Bazi. Thank you for your follow. ZS Bazi. I think I'm done. Not bad. What the hell is this? Uh... As long as the trade has to happen. Wait, could we have hit this one? Boy, that could have gone better for me. If it had hit this one, wouldn't I have 13 more health? Is that right? If I trade, I gain 8. Destroy a beast. There is no beast. Up to 10. We don't know what that card is. Do I need to hero power it or do I need to play two things? I can't. I can't. Uh, play these two. Um, I will silence this. So the bottom two cards don't do anything though. Um, do I, do I lose? I go up to seven, he puts me to one. I play this one. Hero power, remove the three, then I double trade. And then, can I ever just clock him? Yeah, he dies if he did. Yeah, we won. That's great. Wow. I would say outplay, and I think most would have to agree on that one. Good gracious. That is an absolutely crazy game. Eat four wolves and two uh, Magtherodons. But, and we mentioned at the time, if you just draw a bash and a Fiery War Axe, and then I know a guy and discover a Sengen Shield Master, you lose exponentially. You lose very, very easily. Eight health death battle was clutch. We survived with one HP. That is, but we lost the 50 50 on that to take an extra 13, so factor that into your decision making, into your analysis of it. Had we won the 50 50, we would have been 13 more health. Without the fires, we won't be winning this. We also need the deranged doctor's health to boot. Spammy might have been a, a loss. Yeah, we needed spammy there. And we needed to take the card that worked with spammy. We needed to be offered the card that worked with spammy. We're going to take an abyssal, abyssal basist. It's down to five, at least. We have a fiery war axe in the deck, too. What does this card do? After you cast a spell, deal one to the lowest health enemy. Oh, wow. That's not good for me. But maybe he doesn't have a spell. We also got three or four taunts from Pyres. Yeah, we got taunts for sure. Now we gave up armored plating, reinforced plating. Maybe we would have drawn those all and, and got a, a, a legendary thing and a bunch of health and... Yeah, maybe we would have high-rolled the things we discovered. Maybe. That's possible. All that stuff's possible, for sure. But it's also no guarantee. Fiery Winax. Not enough to cast that, unfortunately. What I'd really like... Eh, sure. Um, I should have... swung first. But I guess it changes, potentially, on what, what um... What treasure we get, but now I have four armor instead of six. 
And we have two drakes in the deck, so not totally irrelevant. Cobalt Miner plus the weapon? Let's just play the five. Heavy metal. Interesting. I guess this card's just pretty nutty, right? Like, super cheap. Crew Dominion. And yeah, just take an execute. Plus two, plus two to our hand. So if I go two, 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 it could be decent if there's a swing for us. Could just jam this. Eat the first hex. Could you repeat that? There is a swing for us here. Progress the thing. Buff the things. Party animal over this? Probably, huh? Fiery Winax, man. Cool. Mech Demon. This guy's only three now? We can go seven, five, three. Actually. The moment when you draft a race draws, you forget no dupes allowed and you end up with two dupes. Yeah, it's okay. If it's a cheap dupe, it's probably okay. Now, if you took a bad duplicate over a fine card, that definitely feels bad and is wrong. But, eh, you know, one dupe's not the end of the world, I don't think. I don't always have a hex. Digging straight down only deals 8 damage, needs a buff, needs to deal 9. Love this song. The team under deck was insane, so we need all the high rolls to beat it. When it played well as well. Yeah, they were playing great. They played pretty great. Just draw your dupes before Rhea, that makes sense. 5-0 warrior. Yeah, we just had an 11 win death knight and now we have a 5-0 warrior. Los Angeles Dodgers vs San Diego Padres play in 30 minutes in South Korea. Hey, thanks Zordon. Hey, thanks for the heads up. Is any, where can I watch it? This is spring training still, I'm assuming? Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Card is uh, pretty good. Execute it. Um, let's just do this. Try to put some pressure on him before he plays his gigantic. What do you call him? Fish? <laughs> That's sick. Go Dodgers. Let's root for the Dodgers this year. It's game one? Wait, MLB season's actually starting? When does MLB season start? Dodger? Wait, this is the regular season? Oh man, where can I watch? Who's pitching for the Dodgers? We're 5-0 with this dung pile? Why does everybody think this deck is bad? Isn't this deck good? I mean, it's a good warrior, which means, you know, it's going to get dumpstered by the good shamans, death knights, hunters, and demon hunters on average, but is, isn't this deck decent? I'm sure Dredd's is going to watch it. <laughs> He's such a faker. He's such a Fairweather fan. Kershaw? Is Kershaw even signed? Did they re-sign him? I know he's kind of like holding out. Is he going to come back or... You want to kill anything? <laughs> Good lord. Apparently not. Pick. I guess it's Yamamoto now. Oh man, Divine Shield would have been really ni nice there. He just signed an 18 year old. 
Billion Murphy on the mound tonight. He's back, but he's injured. I don't want Kershaw to play for any other teams. The Dodgers are bringing back their longtime franchise ace. Hope he doesn't pitch in the playoffs. <laughs> One year deal with an option for 2025 for Kershaw. I don't, they, like his whole career, they've talked about him signing with um, one of the Texas teams. The first one goes to the right and the next one goes to the left. Is that how this works? Whoa, those are awful. <laughs> what are these? I guess that card has Rush. Uh, this card has Rush. How does attacks gain one attack and attack a random enemy minion? That seems pretty, uh, pretty good. Here. You know what? <laughs> I think that's pretty good. insane. <laughs> that is a little insane. Let's take a picture of that and send it to someone. Pretty good. Yeah, we didn't really need it, but that's pretty crazy. I didn't miss that. Chat would have got mad. Shaman's heart just broke. Only plus two, plus three to all the cards in your hand, deck, battlefield, collection, life. You need a little more than that when I got an infinite attack, infinite immune card. Games today are nutty. I mean, this is Hearthstone these days, right? Uh, where, where can I watch the game? Dude, that's I want to watch the game. The baseball game. I want to watch the baseball game. I got to watch Interstellar and I got to watch the baseball game. That's exciting. I also got to get Volvo with this warrior deck. After this attacks, attack someone else. God, excuse me. <laughs> In a spot like that, no matter how far behind you are, you're, you could, theoretically, if you have the immune guy, <laughs> be like, well, if I just discover Mosher. Also, like how we kind of thought about the positioning, too. Like, oh, it's going to summon on the left. It mattered, right? But it's like, if I have the immune guy and they have a bunch of hundred hundreds, that would be like the greatest clip in Hearthstone of all time, wouldn't that? Like, let's say you just had a bunch of 50-50 somehow, some crazy stuff happened, and then you got that. That'd be cool. Not what we want. This card's really good. I, I mean, I, I need a three. I got banned on pirate software Twitch. In record time. Is he trading though? Not trading, which is kind of good. I gotta stop him from drawing. I need to pull that off against a grand finale. Then I'd win Hearthstone. Yeah, a like grand finale would be good. What's up, Wicked Kitten? Hope you're doing well. Hey, Drake actually, uh have enough armor to shoot. Unfortunately, he rolled Leoc. If he rolled Misha, we could kill Misha. But if he rolled Huffer, we'd actually not be able to kill. Maybe we could kill Huffer? I'm not so sure. Wanna play this? Or do I wanna play this? Let's see. This is at four. It's gonna be the same size to kill it. So I don't think we're in a rush to do that. Deal three to a minion. Deal one to all other minions. Deal three damage to a minion and one to all. It's pretty cheap. You know what? I think I'll just take that over Brawl. Um, with a card like this on board, that seems a little more... What's the cost of your minions in your opponent's hand by two? What the fuck? Why would I want to do that? I mean, Brawl could catch gigantic minions, but this could help us in the next few turns here. I got another car yesterday, so now I'm poor. Oh, you said you needed to buy a new one. Well, sometimes you need six cars, right? What's what's the harm in owning six cars? I think you deserve six cars. Yeah, damn! 
It'll be on ESPN. So series will be on ESPN. Okay, sorry. I I don't. I appreciate the 100 bits. Thank you. I I'm sorry to always follow up with a question. Um, it's gonna be on ESPN. Uh, who streams? Is that Hulu or, or do I have that? I have Hulu with ads. Can I watch it? <laughs> I want to. Thank you for the 100 bits and thank you for the information. hero power and shoot that it's actually kind of annoying although i can always kind of shoot something large all right let's just get this down the things will matter if there's minions on the board i get someone to buy the old one does it work well can i have it for free <laughs> i should probably learn how to drive again red has a, 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 a an unlimited number of questions if the answer costs 100 bits yes yeah, so i was thinking that that's I don't know where I was going with that. I don't mean to. <laughs> I don't. I hope that not every response elicits 100 bits. <laughs> I mean, I hope that it does. If you're really, really ridiculously rich. But I understand if they don't. No, you should sell it. You should sell it for a veritable fortune. Just say it was owned by Wicked Kitten. And say, you know, you accidentally sat on like a cake once. Let's see if you can sell it for a giga premium. Let's see if Poet will buy it. They're like, oh, I accidentally sat on a, on a on a on a devil's food cake in this car. You want to come to Jersey? <laughs> yeah, I want to go to Hackensack. Why is he? Uh, <laughs> why is he putting all these minions? Oh God, why is he doing this? Isn't he uh, making a mistake here? Can I wait? This is bad for him. Three damage to one, and then a one to a bunch of others. I what is this hand? This does look like a constructed hand. Five and three. One guy will wake up, so I'll have more targets to hit. Right. I'd like to get something else on the board. I guess that's kind of nice. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe we just play in face, and this comes awake, and we can clear. We can deal more damage to minions on the board. Uh, Draculaic! Hey, Red, I hear there's new, a new expansion. Yeah, it's been in Arena for the last week. So there wasn't a lot of changes today. This came out in Arena last Tuesday. And... Oh, God. Pretty dang uh, productive for this type of card. Actually, in combination with this, now it looks pretty good. But everything has dormant. Every fucking thing has dormant. Real tragedy. So is there even that much? There's really not that much value in playing this. So I'm gonna leave one up either way. I shoot here. I have to chop here anyway. So let's play this. What if I play this one? I can chop there. Maybe I play this one? Uh, this crap. I'm gonna lose a lot of the armor though. What now? Point flip time? It's even hype training. Quick, three subs. Okay, I take tails, three subs. Um, thank you. Uh, how much does this cost? Again. Oh my god, that's crazy. Oh my god. I spent $40 today. <laughs> what was this cost for? Okay, hold on. Weapon? Crastalog? Uh, thank you so much for the three gifted subs. We are hype training. Courtesy of Kripali. Wow. I'm glad we were, we were both. I was going to say one because I was scared. Welcome to Dog Poop in the Mouth. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I really do. <laughs> That's a lot of gifted subs. Yeah, Lee. God, help us.
Um, okay. Every little thing. Gonna be alright. Uh, one to all other minions. Deal three damage to a minion. Not a valid target. Just four anyway, though. Man, I want to chuck these face. I want to chuck these face. I want you to say the name of the first gifted sub. 42 FGG F615 VJC FED0 Max 6 and Ape Style 83. Congratulations, courtesy of the Kripali Master himself. Any oil princes in chat? We need more oil princes. What? What? Lifesteal rush, okay. Reborn. Do they all have wind fury? They all have wind fury. Give your entire folk and bard wind fury. No! Oh my god, that's a problem actually. Epic. Uh, poison, wind fury. Can I ever can I ever die here? I played this guy earlier. 42 FGG. <laughs> Me too. Sadly. This thing doesn't have lifesteal. Poison and wind fury. Oh my god, but he can get... Oh my god, he can get lifesteal on all these. If he gets lifesteal on any of these. Oh no. Oh my god, he got lifesteal. Wait, I can deal... I, I, I can deal 8. This thing doesn't have wind fury, does it? I'm an oil prince. If the oil in question is avocado oil, it is. Wait, oh, it had rush. Let's give him a wow. Not show him that we had three more. I think I faced that guy eight times in a row in arena today. Weird. <laughs> I feel like we've been getting pretty lucky getting flunkies and um, party animals in our opener. Our deck has got a pretty wonky curve on too. My opponent just got temporary 10 armor. Plus shield chatter combo to perfectly clear my board. That's not good. That ain't good. Mm. Yeah, whatever. Let's start putting crap on the board. Uh, yeah. That could be decent. The citadel stands strong! Three mana, two, two. How pathetic. Oh, utterly pathetic. Alright, I'm gonna come up with new voice lines for these cards. You're abs You're utterly pathetic. You are Everybody utterly pathetic. Do a new one for this guy. I gotta come up with it on the fly, though. I got nothing. My opponent already read that. Alright. Well, we hype trained. We hype trained. We saw and we conquered. Courtesy of... Who was it? Mechamind? Kripali? Draculaic? Zordon? A pretty good crew right there. Really appreciate if you stop treating me with disrespect here. Points. I missed the train. We missed it, Wicked Kid. God damn it. It's okay. Somebody call up J Master. Somebody call up um Juice Master. Called some of our masters. I had things you never knew you wanted. What? 
and we got here. Next hero power costs zero. Nice play. Go down to eight, up to nine. I go down to eight, back up to ten. I can swing and double coin out my weapon. Um, let's start there. Maybe we find a cheap spell we care about. Give your taunt minions a buff. It's nice to have a brawl for after his... something or other. I've, I've got to take something I can cast here. A one or a two. Black rock and roll is a good card. Devastate. Athletic studies. Can I coin out an athletic studies then? Excavation. It's nine, right? We're at nine. Can I ever just rip this next turn? I have so many cards left in my deck. It's early. Like go five. Coin. Can't really coin anything. God, maybe it's fine though. I have a brawl, so I could take a turn off and then brawl, maybe. I also have a lot of armor. Start figuring it out. You know what my opponent got? They discovered a caged head into a yodeler. <laughs> Why does that happen to dreads? Why does that never happen to dreads? You can see the deck tracker. It's been uh, kind of bugging out today. Sometimes on the day of a new expansion, it's a little uh, temperamental. If you refresh, it should show up. But it may disappear. Let me know when you... Let me know when you do. I haven't seen it in a while. Yeah. Who's winning the big game, Zordon? <laughs> Who's winning the big game? Wait a minute! Oh my god, if he skipped his turn? That would have been... Horrible. Oh, I need an execute, dude. Please. Oh, this is too good to pass. Motherfucker. Go Dodgers. Are you a Dodgers fan? MLB.com Baseball is back. Seoul Series 2024 gets underway. Dodgers and the Padres are in warm-ups. Game day. Mookie Betts, Otani hitting second, or is this just Freddie Freeman? Uh, uh, Will Smith, is that Will Smith? Max Muncie still plays baseball? My god, the Dodgers have like a 2016 all-star team. My god. They're gonna win the World Series, and totally deserved. I'm an Orioles fan, but I'll definitely be watching the Dodgers games. Cool. That's cool. Alright, I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna just rip it. The rest of the game, it'll be worth it, right? So so let's actually play the War Axe, maybe? Get something off the board. You could always set up for like something like this, too. Jason Hayward. He's been playing since 2008. I guess he only played one game. 2009? What am I looking at? This is... They always like default to weird. This is spring training. I don't want to see spring training. Okay, regular season. Jason Hayward. He's a career 294 hitter. Jason Hayward has never hit for power, really? Wait, oh god, I was looking at like spring training or something. Oh my god, he's a career <laughs> 258 there. He's awful. <laughs> oh my god, why do we have Jason Hayward? Keep in mind, I don't really know that much about based balls. No matter what, every time I cast card, I get kecked. But I need to cast stuff, don't I? What else am I doing here? Play that, but I'd like to play that after. Uh, what if it's Avenge? What if it's 
Reckoning. Okay. It could be plagiarized, that would be the worst case scenario, but... Perjury, it's always perjury today. Man, I, I think that's the number one card that stresses me out the most this meta. Observer of Mysteries. In this meta, it's just like, how can you play around this stuff? Kinda can't. I just have to hope it's not objection and counter spell when you're casting five cost spell and a five cost minion, I guess. Or that it's not that thing that turns my six five or my four six into a one one. Firelands Portal into Boned Land Frost Whisperer. Auto loss. How can this card be an arena? Well, it's, um... How can this card be an arena? Uh, all the cards are discoverable and generatable. All of them. And, well, you need some low rolls once in a while, right? The drafted headsman. He didn't discover that one. He did discover a lot, though. Had a mage in arena getting frost mage chain a hero power to seven damage that was stressful did you win sounds like you might have won where is that secret from oh from the perjury okay um perjury counter spell not counter spell Probably objection. Two, four, three? Not counter spell. Not counter spell. You control no other minions, gain some Mac Daddy stats. Destroy all cards in his deck. I don't like the thought of that. Bye bye to your head. Steam cleaner kills his head. It does. It does, and it did. Put your soul into it. All right, I need to get my immune minion. He draws a card. I'll just play these two right now. I get my uh, sevens down now. Ice Barrier, Flame Ward. We haven't played a minion yet, though, have we? I actually don't know if I've played a minion yet. Maybe, maybe I have. Oh, I did. I played the Steam Cleaner. Duh. Um, this is pretty good, too. Plus four, plus four. So, is it really Ice Barrier or Flame Ward? I seen, yeah, that was silly of me to say. I lose them both, but I can shoot the thing. I just played a horseman, a frost queen. Frost queen dragon. Oh, mama, I kind of forgot I had played a... Is that the first card I've drawn <laughs> that's been a buffed minion? There's no way. There's no way. That's the first one. I can't really play Nelly here. I can't really get the thing. I mean, if I miss... What if he plays like a... Fucking Frost... Frostburger or something. Man, that's a 12-12. This card's so freaking potentially annoying. I'm gonna kill it. Oh my god. Alright, well, let's... Figure it out next turn. I don't know. If I had gotten coins, I could play both of them next turn. That would be obscene. Coins would have been really cool. Whoa, mama. Johnny Bravo voice. I I can barely remember Johnny Bravo. Bravo. I think I remember him just assaulting people sexually, which is, yeah, I don't, I don't support. How could that show have been more than like one episode what so like this episode he assaults a woman at the zoo next episode he assaults a woman like at the park like what how many 
I don't remember there being like a, a story or other characters or anything. Anyway, don't 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 do that to people. I say. The women always beat him up. That's probably for the best. What's happening here? That was his whole turn? Summon a beast? What does that say? Summon a, an elemental and a beast from my deck. I have a party animal and it's large. I have an elemental, which is also large. Draw two minions, blah, blah, blah. Let's take this and hit this. Every episode is basically the same. That's what I would imagine. I didn't really like it that much as a kid. I barely remember it. I remember what he looked like. And I remember he says, whoa, mama. Did that just it's like an Elvis move? bit or something, I don't know. It's like an Elvis thing. But like, you know, some of those other shows hold up pretty well. Uh, uh, Dexter's Lab, Hey Arnold, I swear. Go back and watch Hey Arnold, it's pretty good. It's nostalgic for sure. Do you remember Two Stupid Dogs? I do. I, I remember the show. I don't think I can remember a single episode of it either, but I kind of remember liking Two Stupid Dogs more than Johnny Bravo and... Cartoon Network? Like, they didn't have as many good good shows as, um... Let's give him a wow. Quick, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, they didn't have as many good shows as Nickelodeon. Arnold is S-tier. I think Arnold is, is S-tier, and Recess, I think, is S-tier. Is going to the moon. I mean, we're eight and no. Tom and Jerry is another one of those, though. Looking back at it, I can't remember that many episodes. How many of them were that different? Like every episode, Tom nails uh, uh, Jerry nails Tom to a wall or something. <laughs> that looks mega fun. Yeah, it's it's performed well and it, it, it and it has been fun. So you don't always get that playing arena. Also, hello, Mr. Portgaz. Okay, how many episodes of Tom and Jerry are there? How many episodes of the original Tom and Jerry are there? Uh, what am I doing? I'm looking for a one. Plus two, plus two. Not quite as good, but almost. The complete list of the 166 shorts in the Tom and Jerry series are produced and released between 1940 and 2021. Of these, 162 are theatrical shorts. One is a made-for-TV short. One is a two-minute sketch. List of Tom and Jerry episodes. Puss gets the boot. <laughs> Episode 1, 1940. Tom is named Jasper, and Jerry is named Jinx in this short. <laughs> Mammy Two-Shoes was known as the maid and voiced by the actress Lillian Randolph. Wow. That's crazy. I didn't know any of that. Mammy Two Shoes. Tough for us. Wait, I need to kill that one too. Okay. Okay, 1941. It took him a year to make two more episodes. The Midnight Snack, the first episode where Tom and Jerry and Mammy are given their names. Number three, The Night Before Christmas. So six months. 
This episode features narration by Frank Graham in the beginning. I don't know who that is. A lot of them got made in the mid 60s. There wasn't a lot. Well, well, some of these are from the 50s. Man, Tom and Jerry's old. Uh, what am I doing with my turn? Oh, I can play this. Oh, no, 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 no. Shoot. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Messed up that order, though. I should be able to kill pretty much anything that comes out. But... I was learning about Tom and Jerry, sorry. Thunderbird and Wolfish Jerk. Worried. I worry about older cartoons. All right, you guys can get your order lulls out. It's been six years, but we finally did an order lull. Well, this ain't it. Have to kill the poison. That's a lot of stats. Six mana, he got eight power on the board, but three bodies. If you put it all on one body, I could probably shoot it. Not great. I actually need to find a spell I can cast this turn. Did I cast a spell last turn? I didn't. Can I cast a spell next turn? I can. Can I live if I do that? Hmm. I won't even kill that. 5, 8, 11. Oh, I'm like, li I'm almost literally dead on board. Let's do that. Assuming I'm dead? Well, this has to remove the most power, right? Nice class. 3, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, pretty good class. Uh, for a strong, it's funny because you, you cruise, not cruise, you have all these like really interesting kind of interactive games up to 8 and 0. And then you just don't, you can't even play in the next game. If we went first this game, I feel like we kind of did everything we could. But you just can't even, you can't even play the game. I mean, we've done well, I think. I think we've performed well. Another one. Yeah, I wonder if it'll be as... Uninteresting and uninteractive as the last one. I wonder. Maybe. The culprit was not tight. I would have played 12 power worth of stuff here if I were him. Instead of three. Now sometimes you're worried about, I don't know, whirlwind, I guess, but not I don't I don't really I don't really care. I'm gonna play this. Get the armor, maybe eat a thing, maybe play these two, we'll see. If Red is crying, we're smiling. Am I crying? Party snacks. It feels like it. Um, this is probably better than discovering, isn't it? Tone of voice evokes a vision of waterfalls. Oh, it, I bought the last Ravnica remastered pack they had. 
Not like there was more in the back. There was no more. I bought one. It was all they had left at the uh, hobby shop. I don't really know what we're going to do now. I guess not, not open anymore. But I have it. And as a result, I bought a pack of Zendikar Rising. I, I thought it might be cool, but I'm not sure. I think that set might not be the best. But I felt a little pressured. Wait, 50 years? The pack might be worth $2,000! I don't want to wait, though. I don't want to wait. This may just be my best I'm running a Hunter currently. You deserve Hunter. My Hunter opponents deserve... Discover a card. <laughs> I'm going to take Ramming Speed here. Ramming Speed! Eventually, I'll be able to... Kill something, right? I don't know. Does it have to be that bad? I don't think we, we haven't cast Nelly once this run either. It's just so hard to cast a seven cost card in this meta because of hunters and games like this and whatnot. Four, five. Four, five. Play the seven. Look for a canary. I mean, if you hit canary, you don't even really win. You just don't lose. <laughs> you just don't lose in a turn. If I could hit it one more time and then play blade storm, plus something. Go down to seven, up to ten when he kills my thing, which he kills it quite easily. It doesn't even seem very good. All right, let's find a canary. an elemental last turn? I did not. That's just the best thing I can do. to three I mean these both die and deal two to the board get an epic card stops me from being able to blade storm huh but if I get I guess even if you get deal three to the board it's not that good I don't remove that much either though what else could I get? I could get Discover. Maybe I discover like an, an 8 drop elemental or something. I don't know what this does, but I've got a 6 5 on the board now. That's okay, right? If you played a higher cost card while holding this deal 4. just don't really do that much and shoot that one and then shoot there but may maybe it's better to just shoot here leave up one of those things see if we can find like a Kaligarn it's with poison could be really good this card is just good though right I'm not gonna have any armor banked but maybe maybe I can draw like um plating or something Okay, uh, plays another thing with three health. Blade Storm could be good. Two health. That's not ideal. Plating. Plating, but if it's freezing, I get boned. Why would you play freezing there, though, right? Really hidden meaning, which is also kind of bad for me because I need to spend all my mana.
Put in six. Could be snipe. Is snipe even draftable? I haven't seen snipe be drafted. Let's shoot there, but I have to actually remove stuff. Get the legendary card, I guess. Yeah, legendary is probably okay. Definitely pulls something. Definitely kills. Potentially kills something. I think I still will tempo this out too. I might hit the 5 9, but I could hit. Okay. Interesting. Hidden cash? No, it can't be hidden cash, right? After your opponent plays a minion, get a random minion above. Oh, no, it's not hidden meaning. Okay. I can't figure it out. Okay, so I can wait. I'm aren't I kind of winning? Six. I don't really need to rush anything, do I? I don't really need to. Either hits his face or hits his minion. No taunt and he's dead, right? Or uh, maybe not. Close to dead with no taunt. Five, eight, nine. Face with rag and he'd be dead. I'm losing. Wait, is this you? A bunch of taunts, bunch of divine shields. Wait, what can I do about that? <laughs> Wait, it feels like he got. I guess I can look for a whirlwind, a blade storm. Uh. Addition to ban Hearthstone Brew from Arena. The legendary gave my opponent 24 damage from hand with nothing on board. Interesting. Enjoy my poison taunts. <laughs> I'm not enjoying those. I guess I could trade this one. That probably gets through them, actually, huh? But we don't have to do that yet, right? Like, we could look for something that skews the this may just be my data in our favor a little more. It's very good. With fires. I've already excavated four times. Fires is more fun. Wait, I might have just missed Lethal. Just kidding. If we got the rush one, we would have missed it because I attacked first. Warpath would do it? Yeah, we can look for things. What times I've accidentally queued to say into red, I lost. Same with the one with save file. Probably we all got lucky. this rat and I'm dropping this rat and I'm pulling a zilliag and then I'm conceding <laughs> oh no oh no 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 I mean, there's no guarantee that he discovered two eight drop demons you certainly outplayed me well if that's the case which you know I'm not I'm not totally agreeing with I'm not gonna coin regardless of what I get here If that's the case. 
you know, I, I, I do this every god dang day of my life for a living, so... Yeah. I'm sure you'd best me at many other things. You can save once, never again. Uh, what am I doing here? Chopping it? Trading it? Praying? Do I want to pray? Dude, I feel like we should pray. It's a 2 mana 3 8. Prayers kind of answered. <laughs> uh, if I. If I. Hit here, chop here. No, that doesn't work. I need I need I need this to hit here. I just need to hit here and then I can trade here. And free trade there. Frick, dude. This doesn't well it does change. I I have to take six instead of three, I suppose. Okay, let's push it face. If he wants to use this, he he might have to take face damage, right? Darn. I mean, this guy dies, I guess. That's okay. What is your wisdom? Not always something good. It's really not. You finishing this run tonight? Oh, yeah. Easy finish of this run. I don't think we'll do another one after this. But you never know. Could get raided by, uh... Yeah. Barnaby Jones or whoever. Wow. Why do that? It must be Flame Ward? Is it- he actually got Flame Ward? He must have got Flame Ward. The son of a gun must have got Flame Ward. I'm going face because I have this. Player that. That 3 mana 2 2 secret thing is probably my new favorite card, really. I haven't drafted it a single time. It just doesn't seem very good to me. Maybe it is, but it just doesn't seem very good to me. No matter what we're doing, eating a 6 mana 12 12 still feels difficult. Good until it is? Yeah. It's an interesting card. I think more often than not, you're supposed to just make your plays and hope for the best. Because you just don't have that many options. It's not like I can, it's like, oh, I'll play this instead of this. It's like, well, I can't play this, 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 or this. It's like, okay, I can play something or I can play nothing. So I'll play my card and hope it's not a counter spell when my play is a, is a spell. Or hope it's not an objection when my play is a five drop minion or whatever. The disruption is worth the four stats, but like you're counting the disruption when it actually does something. Sometimes it's going to do nothing. It's going to cast a counter spell and an ice barrier when your opponent plays a minion and trades your guy and then you play the 3-mana 2-2. Two, two. And then, yeah, there are going to be other times where it casts an objection on your opponent's 6-drop or whatever and a counter spell on their 3-drop and it's going to seem great, but it, like, that's not going to be every... That's not going to be the case every time. Some of the time. Certainly. They don't know that. Yeah, sure. But like that's why I'm saying the, the the disruption aspect, I think, once you're giving credence to that and adding value to that, the card gets better. So don't give it any credence. Don't give it any value. Make the plays you can, and you should. And more often than not, it's not gonna provide any disruption. It's gonna cast you know, a, turn your cards into bananas or gonna cast a sudden betrayal and you're not gonna go face or whatever you know uh there's no way that this kills my guy right face me face right now face oh my god no he's not swinging shit Iliag on eight i'm really dead now uh, I mean, one turn later, if our guy miraculously lives, we're just short. Maybe I can find three damage? Maybe I can find three damage here that I can't find here. Hello, red barcode. Me? Barcode? The guy who doesn't retire at all? Or are you talking about dreads? Because he's, he's going to be streaming for three hours of Hearthstone Arena tomorrow. 
you might have confused us because we play the same game and you're not looking at the camera or listening to the microphone, then that would make a small amount of sense to me. Three hours? Is he pulling a double? <laughs> the double shift for that guy. Um, how much am I taking here? 800? 9? Do I take 9? 10? Uh, he plays... Huh. Wait a minute. Doesn't he just... Maybe I just... I deal 5. I just need a little bit of damage. Like, can't I just board lock him and just gain a bunch of armor? Is that ever a thing? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably just playing all of this. Five? I'm short. I'm not sure what five is. Why type five there? You want me to play this five? I would never do that. Your hero power is your your hero is elusive. These unfortunately don't help me. I can't even really play that. Mm -hmm. This doesn't really change the math either. Does this does that keep me alive? I don't, I don't really know. can't remember how much these deal. These deal 4 each? 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm at 23. I could play this and make myself elusive, but then he can trade off minions and play like an Illidari or something. Well I don't mean by him, I mean by me. I mean by me. I don't want this or this and probably that. I'm gonna keep the excavates. They're just I mean, we need them. Even though they're not great in the early game to to cast, we need them. Is Mulligan mine? I'll never miss my mulligan. Uh, 80 uh 98 of the time that I get up and you know refill my drink or whatever. Two? Seven. Discipline? We have a lot of good late game. Um I can I can see the, the screen from over there. Well, that's kind of a problem. Play the thing. Thing I can't really contest. Um I guess I have to play this. How do you pee so fast? I didn't pee, I was just making a drink there. Wish it was a four, five. If I go P, I can't see. It takes a little longer. I have to be a little more uh, deliberate with. Huh? What does that card do? Man, there are some ones that could be so good here. It's not necessarily one of them. Whenever this deals damage, gain armor. That could be good for setting up this to make sure I have armor. I mean, the two could be good. I was kind of hoping for like rush, rock, discover, and get two damage. There is just pretty much pretty good. If we play war axe and chop, we lose all of our armor. This isn't a play. This on an empty board isn't really a play. A little drinky poo. Yeah, just a little drinky poo. Okay. Wait, oh no, we can replay out 3-3 three, three here. But at least this way we did keep one armor because of the, the little chomper, so. We'll cut right to the chase. Okay, 
how do I... Do I... How do I... I could draw a card and remove something. Don't really have a choice other than that, so we'll do that for now. Hopefully these are 310 draw. Suppose there's a world where I can axe and free kill something, depending on what he does. Or he plays a 6 mana 12-12. There's multiple options here. My hands are cold. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, that was not discovered. <laughs> that was just kept and played. Alright, let's try for well, let's try for another win. Let's try for two more wins. Um, like I don't really get to watch Dose, but when I watch Dreads, I root for him to lose. Because he's always like BMing his opponents or insulting chat or yelling at people or getting mad. It's better content when he gets mad. So you, you root for him to lose. Unfortunately, oftentimes he's too dang good at this game. <laughs> I'm just too good. Guess I'll just take the cheaper card just in case. In case I don't want to play it. Um. Yeah, d uh, Dose is wonderful. I like watching Judge. Wow, what a great card. Uh, I wasn't offered a type, right? I didn't really consider that, but... The best Dreads content ever was you and him playing played up. I want to play. He, he just... His schedule changed because of the kids. 2-3 or a 5-5? Five, five, or a 7-7 seven, seven later? Eh. I mean, it's a hunter. I, I don't want to, like make any cute plays and we're already going to be behind right we're already going to probably lose one excavate or or a lackey they're very varying you know depending on what you get here after a friendly rush minion attacks deal two damage to the enemy hero your beasts have rush or a two three I probably just tempo out a 2-3. And I'm going to make the trade so he gets one less buff. You could meet his schedule if you truly love him. Yeah, so his schedule changed because of the kids. So he's streaming 12 to 7 or whatever instead of... I mean, when I started streaming, he was doing like 3 or 4 maybe till midnight. 11 or 12. I mean, it's obviously different when you have kids. I need help. I received yeah, some help, honestly, because this isn't the one with Rush. But now he does like 12 to 7. So when he was doing like 2 to 10, we could play, or 9 or whatever, we could play from 7 to 9. It worked well for me. But uh, now he does like 12 to 7. So if we're doing played up, it's like 5 to 7. It just doesn't always line up super well for me. Not only about me, but no taunts. Just have kids and you're back on schedule. Me? Yes, right now <laughs> you can't trade it off. I guess. Here. And maybe I like can get him to ten and just double rev or something. Over the course of three or four draws, maybe. He's played three buzzards by turn five, so I don't anticipate uh, getting there. Plake, plake. Ook funter. <laughs> yeah, I hate Hunter right now. By turn five. It is kind of crazy that his opponent got the legendary thing by turn four. Remember that? <laughs> turn four! Turn four! How do I ever win? I mean, I guess I, I play Nelly. I don't know if there's a pirate. There's a pirate that, that can equip a weapon, right? I need, uh... I need just damage. This card got reverted? The nerf? Well, we need cheap stuff. I can deal damage with a... weapon. Did I cast a weapon? 
Sword Eater, Fiery Rax, no. Destroy a beast and gain a bunch of stats. Dude, this card's crazy. This might be better for us, but this could break a taunt at least. Dredge, after you summon a pirate, give it an attack, draw a pirate. Yeah, it's all cheap at least. Um, That's always going face. I guess I kill this. My opponent just did it turn six. Lucky me. The the the, the legendary excavate of the mage one or a different one. Oh my god, I forgot they cost one. That's crazy. Draw a pirate? That's actually we could get there. We won't, but we could. Right? Definitely could. It's always gonna be kill that guy. Always gonna be draw a pirate. Shady Bunny! With the raid. Raidy Bunny. Uh, Kaligarn to break a taunt? Thank you so much Shady for the raid. I mean, there's a chance we draw title revenue. He's at 7. Thank you Shady for the raid. Oh my god, should we play Genshin after this? We got a bounty for Genshin. Shady in time for the Genshin raid. That's sick. That's sick. I hope Shady had a good stream. Sometimes he has to, he has to uh, bail. I hope it was good. I was thinking today I would be able to pay back Shady. Had my eye on it. Uh, Kaligarn? He, what does he do? He trades. He trades, he trades, he trades. Wow, we can put him to two. Yeah, we just need to hit a title rev. Right? He's gonna play it again, but... There's even a chance we draw... No. Maybe he can't kill it? He kills it, he replays it. I could find a bash. Do I have a bash in my deck? I do have a bash in my deck. I love Genshin streams. Collins. Wait, is Collins here? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, that sucked. Epic. Oh my god. He was at two. <laughs> Rip. Uh, it's not 100% over, but certainly doesn't look good anymore. Certainly doesn't look good anymore now that he's at 20. Um, gain an abundant amount of armor. I'll take a shield. Sh shield shatter. It costs zero, right? Got weapons. I'll take a bridge riff. Boy, that sucked. That yodeler is getting way too good this meta. It is incredible this meta. Get a copy of a random beast in your deck. What is going on here? I can play this for zero. What does this card do? Get a copy of a random beast in your deck and it costs five less. Five less? I guess I want to do that with this, right? Like I want to wait. So I can buff that. I don't think this game is 100% lost. Although it kind of feels like it might be close. We swing the weapon, like we can play this, equip it, like we deal 16 to the board, can't we? I mean, not this turn, but get a copy of a random beast in your deck and it costs five less. I mean, you might not have, you might not have, Peace. okay, armor's good, just take armor. I haven't played Arena years, but in my experience, 5 mana discount is a lot. <laughs> it is. Hope Shady had a good stream. Sorry, these are hard hard turns and tough games. I can't believe he gained 114 life when he was at 2. Maybe they don't have another beast. I mean, he might not have a good beast, right? Legendary Excavate sounds good. Yeah, that could be good. Oh my god. He drew nothing! He drew nothing! <laughs> oh my god, wait, is it time? 
much do we deal with this? I want to swing though. Then I play this. That's not very good. I deal 16. I mean, I got to do this. I don't know how much this deals. It's like a million. It's only two less swing damage, right? Hi, YouTube, Mr. Beast. If Mr. Beast, by any chance watching, I want to be on one of your videos. <laughs> Mr. Beast actually has some comments on some Hearthstone videos from way back in the day. I don't like the sound the puppies make when they die, but I hate the puppies. Yeah, they're just computer generated, you know? Uh, four. Five, uh, six. Could find something. 50 HP warrior seems fine. Um, if the positioning matters, it could matter. We want them all together in case we want to cast this. Yes, that's, that's it. Oh, you love to see it. I'll take this shit or two. All right, what was the trick? <laughs> uh, where does he go? He goes here? Oh, yeah. Oh. That's what you want to see. The red beard combo. <laughs> the red beard combo. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god, anti fight, anti fatigue. It's not legal. That's the second time we've done that this run. Two innocent computers were viciously smashed after being exposed to Red Swombo combo. <laughs> that was a wombo, and that was a combo. Shaman at 11 2 is scary. Eh, he probably has a bunch of. Uh, by four elemental that summons them. A one one against a one two doesn't seem great. Depending on what I got, it could be good, but let's play this. I'm gonna clear that it feels bad. <laughs> Feels bad that I just axed his totem, but the one drop is actually relevant here. Nixian Drake. All right, let's see what we get. Can't get much. Uh, do I need to spend all my mana here? I uh, shoot it, and uh, I'm gonna chop that one too. I don't know. I'm going second. I don't really want to let him build up his board, then buff his board, then get value off of stuff. It's not an ideal start for us. I'll just commit to this one. This will get hexed. Let's start to piece together how the game plays out. We play this. We maybe this gets hexed and this doesn't. Uh, fatal, thank you for your follow as well. Fatal. The calm before the storm. The calm before the storm. He hits. He chops. He pushes one. How do I spend five? I have to play this. Three minions. I can look for a rare treasure, but I mean, maybe I get a... Let's see. This is actually pretty good. I think I'm just going to take that because, again, I'm going second. Choose a friendly minion and enemy minions attack into it. You know what I'm going to do? 
Ooh, that's kind of good too. I'm going to take Provoke. I'm going to clear his board. And then we'll have the ability to like rush this or something. When you're going second, these zero cost spells that actually do something are kind of nice. Did Red invent a constructed combo this run? I did, yeah. Did you repeat that? So, do I play this and I just don't rush it? Because who cares about the 2 3? Probably, huh? Digging for one damage. Yeah, but he, he is progressing his thing. Okay. I mean, this is probably going to die, right? How much is he eight? Probably dies, and then I don't have to use this. I would probably have hexed that, wouldn't I? Okay. They all cost one? They cost one! I kind of forgot that, or I guess I didn't... I didn't know... If you play a pirate, summon this from your hand. I, I didn't know they were reverted. Uh, give your weapon attack. After you summon one, give it a buff. Don't have a weapon. Um, I think I'd rather add one than buff them, because they're probably all going to die to a lightning storm. That one... Costing one seems good to me. Finally reading the card at 11 to 2. Well, that's like the second time we've played it. <laughs> oh no, we can hex this though. I might not get those. I need them quite badly. No! <laughs> no! That's probably better than a hex. What the fuck? Do I still get them? Maybe I still get them. I'm actually not sure. My guess is I don't get them. Rare? 5 mana, 2, 6 taunt. Amber Science? I feel like I still get them. Cast a copy of the last spell my opponent played. You don't. You pick new ones? No, the battle cry is on the, on the dinosaur, not its shell. If it hits one of those, it's great. If it hits my guy, it's annoying as all shit. Magic betrays those who abuse it. It's the dredge? Yeah, I knew it was the dredge. So I was kind of excited to take it because now I can get my legendary base off of what's in my hand. I hate Canary, it's broken. Yeah, Canary's broken. For sure. Up to 23. Up to 23. So warrior legendary treasure it's a four mana five five that discovers two eight cost minions and then summons them both so discover one then summon it then discover another and summon it and the order of that actually seems to be incredibly relevant for a guy who drafted footman and wants to give his eight mana 310 immune and clear the entire board repeatedly over his run that's me Turn this into a six drop. I'm gonna discover double rag for lethal? Is that what you're saying? I'm gonna try. Can you get two copies of the same card? I feel like maybe you can. I forget. You call that a blade? I've got three. I call that a blade? I don't call that shit. What I can't do is give it immune, but I guess I don't care while there's only a three three. Not this. Uh, 
Every third minion you play costs one, costs zero. Third minion. So I played one, play another one, and then I can cast this. Is that better than something? Maybe. Cro-Magnus. I can pull an elemental. I can pull a beast. And get these one ones. Maybe that's better. So I'd add, I'd have to add do this. And shoot one, but let's just play this. It's a taunt, right? I, you know, it's a taunt. Tidal Revenant is an elemental. Yeah, I don't want to pull him out of my deck. I want to shoot him in the face with these. We have two elementals and one beast. Man, I'm kind of out of stuff, though. Remember when Violet Worm was a great arena card? I do. I do. Are your pirates still in there? I don't think so, but I'm kind of hoping that they are. Right, so he's fully healed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Turns a 1-1 one, one into a 6-7. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> I think he paused, like, is he getting stuff? Right, so it's an 8-8, eight, eight. I can shoot quite easily. He has a way to kill my 4-2, and then I can push 7. I can push 7. The wrench with, noth with nothing. Trade, trade. Push 7, shoot the two minions on board, maybe. So, I don't know. I should probably think about where these go. Should I just make it a 6-7 now? I don't think so. I think I should save it for something that can go face. Um, let's put them like this. In case we want to trade this off and then maybe give these immune. Like the bigger minions. Maybe. I can push a little. I guess I have containment unit. Tier list slept on Worm when it originally came out. Yeah, maybe. It's a lot of stats. The calm before the storm. What is this guy's win condition? Uh, drawing two cards a turn. Anytime he, drawing four cards a turn. Anytime he plays a card, generate a random card. Current favorite card from this expansion? Uh I think the mage the mage legendary. That recasts a spell of, of a random cost well I'll keep cast a random spell of each cost. I think that one's really cool to build around. Don't do that. Oh my god, wait, do that. Don't do that. I thought he was just gonna freeze it. Darn it. I mean, this is... I still get to push some damage here. I get to, like, hit here and here. Five? Unfortunately, I ain't got a uh, death rattle yet, but I've got um, containment unit. He's at six, so without healing, a tidal revenant is gonna get really close. What's up, Merlin the Mage? The tidal revenant is gonna get real close. I thought you'd say Footman. No. <laughs> no, Footman doesn't really do it for me. Is tidal wave in? Everything's in. I don't think Tidal Wave is draftable, but everything's in, so you could always generate or discover some absurdities here. Every card is discoverable or generatable, but the pool of draftable cards is also quite large. I've not seen a Tidal Wave drafted cast, nor have I discovered, nor have I drafted one myself. He's only got four mana. 
He has no dragon. No. Oh, it always does. <laughs> it always does these things. So he has two taunts. He's not dead. He's not dead no matter what. I'm gonna... Yeah, he's freaking out. What do I do? No, don't attack. <laughs> no, just miss your attack. Uh, my cards don't do anything. I could discover one of... These. I can attack this thing. This place is scary. That stinks. <laughs> These stink. Discover dummy. Discovering dummy would have been nice. Or are you telling me to discover, comma, dummy? That might that might cost us. We tried. Oh my god, double taunt, freeze our board, ugh, so many things. Tournament attendee. <laughs> if I could just get him to, f to five, and at least the prospect of a title revenant, maybe. I mean, it's possible here, we have a lot of stats on board. Receive the weapon swing there? You could. I don't really, s don't really, oh my god. <laughs> Lightning reflexes. So it's like if I live, I get to fully heal. Well, I guess he gets to fully heal. Never call you a dummy. You. I would never call you dummy. Not dreads. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I get it. Oh, that sucks. Okay. I mean, he still has to remove the board, right? Or he's just kind of in the same spot. He can trade with the 2 3 and the 4 5. So he can remove a lot of power. It was up to 18. He can't cast any more spells unless he gets like refreshes mana crystals or whatever. The, the mana just the, the the like just doesn't line up super well for him here. Does he throw six damage into a three four? I guess. Put him to eight. All right, come on, good draw. Lading. Lading's not a bad draw. Coins are awful. Awful for us. Uh, I did not position that well. Uh, I guess I have to do this. Maybe I keep my board. He didn't have a great turn last turn. Uh, this should definitely be over here, but I'm not trading. It's like, it's, it's all going face. And if he can clear this board too, then yeah, I guess he wins. He healed a lot and... Removed a lot, and froze a lot, and drew a lot. He has a lot of cards. That's annoying. That was his top deck? Shit. Dread Shaman. This looks like a Dread Shaman here. More heal. That's a crazy top deck there to remove the board and gain another 10. So I don't think we'll get there now. But we tried our best. We really did. At least YouTube loves 11s. They do. Not ideal. We will lose. It looks like we have lost now, but again, we tried our best. There's always a chance this could connect one more time. He's got nine cards and he's sitting there completely flabbergasted at the at the prospect of somehow losing this game. He um we could just hit Title Revenant into Title Revenant too. One more excavate to get the six five rush. Uh we could discover an excavate, huh? To save coins for Ghost Rider? Yeah, that doesn't necessarily help. Um, it doesn't necessarily hurt. I guess maybe it was just only, it only makes sense. No, because you could get like studies or Quartermaster and then end up wanting to have spent the mana already. Yeah, it might be hard to get two spells here because we spent the one mana already. Him going to Fatigue might be our out also. 
<laughs> Let's draw. Okay, we kind of got punished, huh? Could have spent one. Only get one spell now, right? We could hold it. We're at 57. Maybe it's better to just hold it. Okay. Most of the cards I'm sure work now. Containment unit. Actually, does everything work now? Maybe not bash or party animal. He has the legendary treasure, right? So he can evolve everything. I could end up with two more Excavate cards, I suppose. Lich King, he doesn't even have space. Poor guy, he doesn't even have space for it. Uh, these don't help at all. Reveal a weapon from your deck. I don't have a weapon. Summon the highest cost of from your hand, then deal 5 damage to it. That seems awful. And Burning Heart does. Not enough. Shaman does have a legendary treasure. Yes. Shaman's got a legendary treasure. It is a group food meta. We've been saying it for years. 11 win warrior. Yeah, it was a fun run. If you watch this entire game, I think most would would agree we got pretty heavily scammed. But yeah, sometimes you got to get scammed to you know, sometimes you play hard and you get scammed pretty hard. Give me something with stealth. Is there a stealth minion I can get? Groot Fu. This would have been an, I mean, this was an incredible run. It was a lot of fun. It's just so funny how like how much going 11 in, in this fashion kind of sours the experience. There's no way he left up the 6-6. Six, six. That's crazy. That's so wrong. Okay, punish him with a... something. Deal 2 damage to a minion. Execute it. Play this. Yeah. And then draw a title revenant next turn. That's crazy. He left up the 6-6. Six, six. He could just trade it off and never lose. Get an Inquisitor? Yeah, maybe. This lines up... Uh, we, we have a, a 2 out of 7 to deal 5. Or a bash if he doesn't heal. Um, A Quartermaster into deal 2. Or uh, Athletic Studies. Is there, a, is there a rush minion that deals face damage? Uh, there's the big 8-8 eight, eight rush if he plays an 8 health minion. Which, he, you know, he has one. Someone doesn't have heal. He's already healed for 400. He can't really heal for more, can he? Like, just give me a stealth minion. I feel like he's freaking out, too. Like, or he's, like, panicking, and he's making a lot of mistakes. Wait, is he killing me? 5, 10, 15. Oh, he's killing me. Oh, what a scam. Darn. Okay, maybe he's not freaking out. Maybe he's not. Good try. Yeah, it was a, it was a great run. It really was a great run. Looks like they're very, very satisfied with their uh, ass whooping they delivered to me, which sometimes feels good. Oh my god. What in the world is he doing? The absolute hardest throw if he doesn't roll a taunt. <laughs> Oh my god, horrifically played with all the RNG in the world. I um, think you guys should watch this on YouTube. Hit the like, hit the comment, hit the subscription. Good lord. I deserve to lose. Oh, I mean, he had, he had every break possible given to him. What a run. What an absolute run. And, and you know, whatever. 
sometimes you make a mistake and it compounds. You start making more mistakes or you start feeling the pressure. Maybe it's their first time at 11. The, the reality is, is that was a very simple win. You just trade off the board and you never lose. 